Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Fallon Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your listings to leads, leads, with your Keller Williams Command database. And we're gonna do this using Zapier. So of course, the first step here is we need to have a Zapier account. So if you don't have one already, you're gonna to go to Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R dot com, and you can start with just their free account in order to get this all set up for you. Now, once you're logged in, you're going to see here on your dashboard that it's asking, what do you want to automate today? So we want to connect the listings to leads app to the Keller Williams command app. So if a new lead comes in from listings to leads, we want it to go to Keller Williams command. So then it takes us to the next step. It says when this happens. So when we connect a listings to leads, we want a new lead is the trigger to then create a lead in Keller Williams command. So what we have set up is listings to leads is connected with Keller Williams command. So when a new lead comes into listings to leads, it then creates a new lead in KW command. So we're gonna go ahead and click on use zap. So the next step here is we wanna make sure that we actually connect the appropriate listings to leads account to your zap here. So obviously we're not doing somebody else's leads into your account. So what it has you do is choose account. So I already have a couple set here because we've already got this connected, but if you didn't, you would go ahead and click on this connect an account and it's gonna open up your Zapier here and it's gonna tell you that it wants the API key from listings to lead. So this tells you actually here where to get it. It's under profile, CRM integration and Zapier. So we're just gonna go ahead and go look at that here. So I'm logged in to listings to leads. This is my dashboard here. So under the little person icon in the top right, we're gonna click on profile. Then we're going to click on the tab up here for CRM slash integration. And then on the left hand side, we're going to go down and click on Zapier. And here is your Zapier API key. So we just want to click this little double box arrow um, icon here, I mean, and that is your copy. So we're going to copy that. And then we go back into Zapier and we go ahead and paste that in here and then hit yes, continue. So once you do that, it then shows that we have it selected here. Uh, we already have it named here. So it has your option selected and then you're gonna go ahead and save and continue. So now what it's doing is actually looking for leads that are in listings to leads in order to use as our sample to set up the, the right fields here. So I can see in here there's certain information. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this lead here and I'm gonna hit continue. Then it already has Keller Williams command selected because these are the next steps that we're gonna take here. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and hit continue and we're using the create lead option in Keller Williams command, so hit continue. And then again, we're gonna connect an account. So in this case, when I hit connect account, it's gonna open up and it's gonna ask me to log in and that makes the connection. Uh, we already have us connected here in this particular one, so then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and continue. Okay, so now we have the setup preview. So what it's doing is it's telling us these are the fields, as you can see by the little KW icon here, these are the fields in KW command, and we're gonna choose over here on the right-hand side the fields, the values that we actually want to be uh, populating those fields. So where do you get the leads from? Feel exactly the same as what your trigger is. So if I hit the little arrow down, you'll see that there are an endless amount of options here. Um, in this particular case, the we're getting them from listings to leads. So if you start to type that in, you'll see that it pops up that option. Now, one note I'll make is that although this is the source, it's actually pulling from your listings to leads account, we believe at Balan Brands that your source is not listings to leads. The source would actually be, you know, whether it's a Facebook ad that went to listings to leads or whether it's a Google, um, listings of leads is simply the, the vehicle, like what they actually use to become a lead, but it's not necessarily where they originated. Uh, now, Keller Williams doesn't really give us in command the option to pre-fill these. It doesn't, listings of leads doesn't pass us where the referrer was. Was it from Facebook? Was it from Google? Was it a direct hit? So really we don't have a lot of options here other than to go ahead and choose listings of leads, but you may want to make it a practice to go back into your Keller Williams database afterwards and if you happen to know these were running from Facebook ads or something else you might actually change this to Facebook if that's if that's how you're generating your leads. Uh, okay so the next step here is we're going to say what team it's assigned to. So in Keller Williams command 
we have um, we have the option here to choose the team. So in this particular case, it's not actually populating my team. It should be showing the Lori Ballin team, but it's not. So if you're not seeing your team, then obviously you don't want to select that or you want to pause here. Um, possibly you can use the custom value and just type in your team name, but you want to make sure it matches the actual team that's assigned in your, uh, you know, in your actual KW command here. So, all right, so I'm, I'm going to put that in here as a test, but we're not going to save this because that's not actually the Lori Ballin team. Okay, so then we're going to go to full name. So in, in KW command, it actually has full name as one field, whereas in listings to leads, it uses first name and last name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here, a little plus sign, and I want to take this first name. And I'm going to put a space, and then I want to take last name. So what it's doing is showing me the value of which of the actual fields that they've entered and this is creating a full name. So we're actually using two separate values to create one value in KW command. Okay, so if, if listings to leads collected everything as one name as opposed to two separate names, we would just have the one option, but in this case it's two. So then we're gonna go to email and we're gonna select the email option. And then under phone, we're gonna go to phone. And then whether it's a buyer or seller. Now we are gonna have to add one more step here because we don't know here whether it's a buyer or a seller. It could actually be a buyer or a seller from listings to leads. So we don't want to default one particular option. Um, if I just selected seller, well then it's going to mark everything as a seller, but maybe you're doing both buyer and seller ads. Now, listings to leads does actually provide us whether or not it's a buyer or seller. It has this buy sell field. However, I can't use that here in Infusion, I'm sorry, in, in Keller Williams command because it's looking for a zero or a one. See if you notice that here, it's looking for a value of zero or one. So we're gonna actually, we're just gonna go ahead and select seller, but then we're gonna fix this to use a custom value in a moment. We're gonna add one more step here to this process. Okay, so then under address, if this was um, their address, then we can go ahead and enter that in. And you'll notice, this is all one field, so this is kind of another thing where we can't really break it up. Uh, in KW command, it's separated from address, city, state, zip, but in listing to leads, it's pulling over as the entire address. So we're just going to kind of feed in the entire address so we have it in there, and uh, we'll take a look at that later. So then I'm going to go under city, and if that was an option in here, I'd be able to select it, but in this case, we don't have that as a separate city. Uh, same thing with state, zip code, and then country. These are all optional, so they don't have to be filled out. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue so that we save that. But we're not going to test the step yet because we have one particular field. As a matter of fact, if I test it, it'll tell me it doesn't work because we actually have this buyer or seller defined as seller, and it's looking for a zero or a one. So we're going to add a step here right in between these two. And the step that we're adding is what's called a formatter. So what we're doing is we're going to take the value from listings to leads and put it into the type of value that Keller Williams Command is looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on formatter. Okay. And what this is called, it says choose a value from this list or look it up in a particular table. So what we're doing is utilities. We're not working with numbers. We're not doing math. We're not breaking up dates and times. And we're not messing with the text. So we're going to do this utility here. Hit save and continue. And then what we're transforming here is a lookup table. So we're looking up in one value or in one system and then we're going to change it in another. So okay, so what's the lookup key? So I want to have if listings to leads, we want to look up the buy sell option and we want to change that value oh you know what sorry about that not here so we're gonna look up the table here to buy sell so we want seller to equal zero in listings to, from listings to lead seller we want it to equal zero in um, in Keller Williams command so I'm gonna hit the plus sign because then we want one to equal buyer or seller. Okay, 
one moment here. All right, so we're actually just going to define it because it's seller and it's buyer. So we're not going to we're not going to use the dynamic fields. We're just going to say zero should equal seller and one should equal buyer. And then it asks for a fallback value if you wanted to. If like most of the time you're doing buyers or sellers, you can choose a fallback value, but we're not going to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and hit continue. So the key is on the left, what we're looking for. So I actually have these reversed. So we're looking for whether it says buyer or seller. And then we're changing it to the value that would be on the right. So seller would equal 0, and a buyer would equal 1. Okay. And then what we're looking up is this field. So that's where that comes into play. Okay, so here's the lookup key. These are the values, and then this is what the actual uh, value should be turned into. So go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so this gives me a, a sample. So it says lookup key is seller, and seller equals zero. So it's just giving me a sample there. So we'll do a little test, and it says the test was successful. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. Awesome. Okay, and then we already have this all set up, so then we just simply test the final step. I'm not going to test this because this isn't connected to the proper uh, team name here, but so we could send the test and it should come back as positive. And once it is, you're able to turn on your Zap. So if you have any questions on this, by all means, reach out to us, team at balanbrands.com. We'll be happy to help where we can.